Porter Jr. has had quite the offseason since the last time he suited up with the Shockers. This past week, it became official. The former Wichita State standout was headed to the league. For our rising star this week, we caught up with Craig as he's prepared to continue proving himself in his NBA career. Drafted in like maybe two minutes. I got that call and I was just like, yeah, okay. The newest member of the Cleveland Cavaliers comes by way of the Shockers. But back as Craig Porter Jr. was playing his final game in the roundhouse, he didn't see an NBA future in the cards. Uh, in all honesty, I did not think a lot of this would be happening. Uh, even when I connected with my agent, some of his questions were just, what are your plans? What do you think you can do? And uh, honestly, I thought I would end up overseas. After excelling at smaller scouting combines in the spring, Porter's stock started rising as he found himself working out for NBA team after NBA team. A lot of teams knew who I was and how I played, but once I got in front of them and I just went against the other guys and I kind of did really well, shot the ball way better than they thought I could. Really, every workout was honestly the same feedback. They were like, you're a lot better than we thought you were. Now after a three-year career with Wichita State, the Terre Haute native has his opportunity at a dream. It's definitely, it hasn't sunk in yet. Um, honestly, I think it'll take me getting on the actual NBA court and playing against some of those guys I used to watch or used to look up to, I guess. It's just I'm doing everything it takes to get to this position, and I'm, I'm finally here. So the arenas are a lot bigger, I mean, but that just makes for a lot more people getting to see a show. So, I mean, it's... it's it's going to be Next up for the former Shocker, the NBA Summer League, where he'll continue to try to make a name for himself early. Here's when you can catch him. Starting next Friday, we're going to see him take on Brooklyn and former Jayhawk Jalen Wilson. After that, Craig Porter versus Grady Dick and Marquise Noel on the Raptors. The week after that, he's going to take on the Grizzlies and then the Chicago Bulls which could be a potential landing spot. A lot of people think that that's where former Shocker Fred Van Vliet could end up. Could be a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to be sure to keep you updated on all of those here on 12 News.